This is the No BS Coaching Advice Podcast, episode 140. I'm your host, Jeff Alton, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome. I like to spend some time at least once weekly talking with you about some aspect of life, the universe, and everything. And there are things that often come together into these shows that come from very disparate places. And this one is going to start off with an interview I was listening to with Reed Hoffman and Jordan Harbinger, as I put as if I, remember, if I remember correctly. And in this one, one of them says to the other, learn from jerks. I think it's a great piece of advice because I, th- I think often we just dismiss them and don't really stare at them and pay attention to the jerk quality within them. So, for example, uh, one of the guests on the show talked about a woman who would walk into the coffee shop she worked in some years before when and she was a, a student and hadn't started her business yet and talked about the woman who yelled at the barista about the bad lattes she kept getting. And the comment was, you know, I had to figure out for a while why she was walking in and yelling at everyone all the time. Because after all, most people really liked the lattes, but she kept yelling about how she hated them. And the comment made was, it's not always about the latte, but sometimes it is. And the lesson in that jerk was that what she really needed was contact. She was lonely. She needed to have a human connection with people. And the notion of studying people and what their behaviors are and what they're communicating by what they say and what they don't say is fabulous. Pay attention to the jerks. They'll teach you some lessons that you may find very, very helpful. I find the language of business these days very, very funny. Let me give you an example. Businesses talk about creating process to do things, right? We have a process to do this. We have a process to do that. And then they bring in consultants who are there to create transformational change, which isn't about process. It's about liberating the individual. At least that's the way it's supposed to be. It's not about transforming process. It's about transforming people. And that's the bind that uh, individuals are put into in the workplace these days. When I think of how much effort goes into homogenizing and then transforming people and systems so that individuals are freer, it's insane. Let me just talk to you folks for a second, rather than the business owners who I often will speak with. Your goal, the thing you should be looking at in your life is how to be distinct within the frameworks that these firms set up. I'm not telling you to be a jerk, of course, but find a way to be different, distinct, unique. Here's the magic word, special while at the same time operating within their crazy, insane framework of business. You will find suddenly opportunities are going to come your way and you're going to like it a lot more, won't you? A friend had his birthday party this weekend at his home nearby. He's in his 60s at this point. He's just sold the business He's feeling great. His home overlooks the city. It's on top of a mountain with spectacular views. And he's worked hard. Let's not kid ourselves. He's worked hard. He's not been an overnight sensation. He's a guy who plugged away with a lot of effort, built a a firm that was sold, and now has the opportunity to reap the rewards. So his wife threw a birthday party for him. Then initially he resisted being the typical guy that he is. He didn't want a lot of attention. And then as it it kept getting closer, he got more excited. Folks, we're meant to be celebrated. We are meant to have connection with people. We're not here as isolated individuals. The idea is to celebrate great moments. 
and we're also meant to be sane. It doesn't make you a jerk. If anything, it makes you a human being to want to be seen and noticed for the good stuff that you do, not the obnoxious things. That one we'd rather get invisible about, right? But the important things in life, the successes that we've had in our personal and professional life should be celebrated. And we don't do enough of that. Connections between people, they take time. We build relationships with them. We deal with common successes and failures. We hang in there when it's difficult. We love one another over time. Walls between people are built overnight. And so often the reason the wall is there is our judgment about another person is so profound and so overwhelming Well, we act as an executioner for them. And that's really the truth. We execute them in our minds. Is that the way you want to be seen? Is that the way you want to be judged? Why do you think others want that? They may have made a mistake. If you made a mistake, would you want forgiveness or anger? Folks, jerks are complicated. People who make mistakes, well, they're human. Figure out whether this is a mistake or a jerk. Don't just throw the wall up instantly. You'll find yourself a very lonely woman or man. So that's today's show. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, wherever you listen to the show. Just subscribe so you get downloads whenever I release a new episode. Each show is going to be bite-sized morsels of advice just like today's. I hope you enjoyed it, and I do hope you subscribe. And if you do choose to subscribe, I hope you decide to support the show. There's a link that will take you to anchor.fm where you can make a pledge in support of the show. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you're interested in my coaching you, connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Mention that you listen to the show. I just happen to like knowing that I'm helping some folks. And once we're connected, message me about your interest in, in coaching. We'll set up a free call. We'll get acquainted. See if it makes sense. I'll be back soon with more. And in the meantime, I hope you have a great day. Take care. Time for the elements of mind.